What's going on, guys? Welcome to part two uh, with the Jeskai Fires list uh, featuring a few new cards from Akoria. This list is awesome. Uh, if you did not check out the first video, I highly suggest you do so, so you can check out not only the full deck list, which is also linked below, uh, but you can kind of see what uh, what we're doing and why we're doing it. Uh, this list is very, very good. Um, looks like we are against a mirror match, in fact, here. Uh, and this is a keep, I believe. Uh, no, we don't have the fires. Deafening Clarion, probably not going to be very good. But we do have Teferi and the Sphinx here. Uh, so the Sphinx is going to help us fix the top of our deck, make sure, one, that we get our lands, but two, if there is a fires, uh, we'll hopefully be able to, to get it. So let's see what we get. Uh, and good luck to the opponent, too. We'll see. Um... Oh. <laughs> Looks like we both have the Sphinx. Uh, we'll see uh, which Jeskai Fires list actually takes it. Um, I assume that just being on the play in this matchup is way, way better. Uh, three to the top. Okay, well, fair enough. Uh, don't need to ferry. We'll leave that on top. We're going to shuffle with the Fable Passage, I think, anyway. So it's not going to matter too much. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just drop the Tri-Land. We're going to draw the Mountain, and then we're going to Fable Passage. Um, or we may Fable Passage just later in the game. So uh, we'll Steam Vents here. Um, yeah, I think that's better. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I, I don't know 100%. That's kind of a probability thing. It looks like they're not going to have a turn 3 to Fairy, which is good for us, uh, because we will. Um. <clears throat> so, let's play our Mountain, and let's play our Teferi. So next turn, assuming we don't dry the f draw the fires, excuse me, we do still have Sphinx here. Uh, so we'll get to drop that down at the very least. Now they will also, they're going to have a Sphinx. Uh, but we have the Teferi out to bounce theirs. So whatever they play here, we will be able to kind of bounce back to their hand. Uh, which is going to be good for us. Uh, if they go fires into Sphinx, for instance, or fires really into any creature, uh, I think the assumption is we need to bounce the creature, not the fires. That might be wrong, um, and feel free, let me know in the comment section, because I'm not very well experienced with the Fires deck, so that that's just my assumption. Uh, the only reason I say that is because they'll be able to drop the Fires again next turn and then follow it up with just any other play. Um, and so I, I don't think that that really does the most work, but again, I, I could be very wrong, so um, feel free to, to let me know. Um... Okay. Not what I thought they would do, but I guess that makes sense. This might be a bad idea. Okay. Here, I think I will Fable Passage. Let's go ahead and do this. <clears throat> We'll get our Swamp, because we do have the Kenrith in hand. Um, so there is, you know, somewhat of a, a reason to do that. I'm actually going to do this. Uh, no, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. No, I am not. Uh, depending on what they do next turn, it's going to be good for us to be able to do that. I'm going to throw the Sphinx out here. My assumption is they're going to bounce it, but I'd rather them be bouncing and then playing their Sphinx. Uh, so that seems like a better interaction. Um, than just, say, cycling this or something along those lines. Uh, we also, next turn, can uh, can either drop Kenrith or Karuga, depending on what we want to do. Okay, so they do have the fires. And now they can drop Karuga. Worth noting, at some point, we could double Deafening Clarion, <laughs> um, which does actually clear a lot of the board on the opponent's side uh, if it gets to a point where we need to. Um, certainly, the expectation is that's not the case. Okay, so which is it? Sphinx. Okay. 
another Teferi, huh? Let's do this first. Hmm. I'm gonna drop the Kenrith. Um, reason being, we can next turn play like the Sphinx and then give give it haste. Uh, and they're they're not away from their bounce here, so they're not gonna be able to bounce this this turn unless they replay like another Teferi, for instance, like which they could do. Uh, in which case, obviously we know you know they're. They're a little bit desperate to avoid that. Okay. Looks like that is the case. But see, now this coming turn, we get to bounce this. Uh, and play the Kenrith with giving it haste. And then just swing in and kill the Teferi. Uh, which I believe will be the play. Yeah. Bounce that. Draw our card. Gonna play Kendrith. Gonna give it Trample in Haste. I'm gonna do this. Please block. Oh, yes. Do you have a weird combat e trick kind of thing because that's silly oh okay sure but we still are you know essentially kind of three for one in there two and a half for one we'll say cavalier very good I really want to double deafening Clarion. We may end up doing that at some point. Okay. Um, let's see. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. So we'll play land. We'll play this. Right on Slow them down with that. And then throw this out there. So here we're kind of looking for them to commit a little bit more to the board. I'll happily block here because, again, the, the play... I think for them is probably going to be drop fires, drop, you know, Karuga or something along those lines. For us, it's double deafening Clarion, clear their board next turn. So we just have to stay alive this turn. Um, now that does mean we're, we're obviously going to have to do a lot the following turn. So we may not win this, but, um, I think that does give us a, you know, at least a chance here. Um, if that's the case, then no, I am not gonna block. I'm gonna let him kill Teferi. I don't, I don't particularly care about that as much. We we have another one in hand. Um. So we'll see what they do here, and it may be a case where we swing in for four, and then double deafening Clarion as well. Um, which is not a bad play. We're not getting the fires, which is really setting us back. By the way, that's a lot of this. Okay. That's actually kind of better than the Deafening Clarion. Um, yeah, that's a lot better than the Deafening Clarion. Okay, so first things first, we're going to attack in. Oh, stupid. I uh, should have given my creatures lifelink. Whoops. Um, okay. Um, really wish we could play an untapped land here so we could get another creature out, but that's okay. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. I don't know if that's correct, but I'm going to try it. 
Yes, very good. Makes sense. We're putting up a fight at the very least. Unfortunately, we're lacking our def our uh, fires, which really, really is setting us back. But it looks like they don't have much to play here. Uh, we're going to keep Narset. Um, two, three, four. Yeah, let's play out Narset. Hmm. I'm going to discard to fairy. Deal the damage here. Same trick. Gain a little bit of life back. We'll just play our try land. Okay. Well, you know, we're, we're trying. Um, it is a tough one. I'm not I mean gonna be honest yeah fully fully makes sense totally understand that <laughs> um definitely don't want any more land a little bit tired of land um one two three four five okay so let's play sphinx let's play karuga let's draw two cards We'll play our try land. And we'll attack. I mean, to be fair, we do have lethal next turn. Like, I don't I don't know if we dug ourselves out or not, but we're certainly doing the best we can. Um What do they have? What could they have? I'm not going to block. Ah, they're pulling the same trick. Were they expecting that? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. There it is. Cool, cool. Well, now we get fires. <laughs> okay. Uh, enters tab. Because it's not going to matter. Hmm. At this point, we're not really even on the fire's plan is the problem. <clears throat> See what they do. This was a very good game. Either way, I'm... But, I mean... They're doing a fantastic job. I think we're at least fighting our way through. Next turn, we can cycle the Shark Typhoon, get a creature out uh, to block this guy. Actually, they have to block us, I suppose, don't they? Hey, we got one land left. Okay, I kind of think we just play the Shark Typhoon, though, right? Yeah, let's play the Shark Typhoon. <laughs> let's just do this. <clears throat> cool. Why not? Did we win? Yes! Cool! Okay, guys, that was a hard-fought battle. But we did manage to scrape it out, despite the fact that they had fires uh, well before we did. Um, feeling good. That was really fun. Um, let's jump into game two. Uh, it looks like we dropped a few frames there again. Guys, I know that continues to be an issue. I, I certainly apologize. Unfortunately, um, right now, I don't believe there's much I can do about it. I'm trying to f I was trying to figure out exactly why it might be happening, um, but I, I don't think that uh, it's something I can... I can necessarily work on at the moment. Okay. Not against another fires deck. Um, ooh, I don't love this hand. I'm going to mulligan this. I will keep this. Uh, let's put a hollow fountain on the bottom here. This is a very tempo-y kind of hand, but uh, I, I don't think that's a bad thing. Looks like we're against mono white. 
get that out there. I guess technically should have led on the Hollywood Fountain uh, for a slight chance that we don't have to shock ourselves, but I don't think it's a, a massive deal. Play castle and pass. We are in the tempo game. Yep. Go ahead, bounce that. If they don't have another land, that's really not good for them. And they don't. Um, here I'm questioning whether we actually do Brazen Borrower again or Teferi. I kind of think it's Teferi. Just to draw ourselves a card. I know we have to shock ourselves here, but um, I think that that's worth it. I, I could see it going either way, but we're really looking to get to fires. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Um, so now they kind of have to choose. Do they want to, unless they drew a land here, um, and it looks like they did not. So they're just gonna keep playing out their one ones. Sure, I mean that's makes sense. Kill to fairy, that's fine. And we'll see what we draw with this. Uh, <laughs> another fires. Um, let's go ahead and activate this. We will get. Uh, do we get a swamp? I guess we do. It's nice to be able to do that. Um, we'll get that out. Whoops. Uh, and let's do this. Let's just play Brazen Bar over here. Happily trade uh, something here just to keep ourselves kind of in it. <clears throat> Deafening Clarion would have been a very good keep. I will say that. Um, however, it doesn't like by itself get us there. So I'm not too upset by this. Sure. Uh, land, play it out. I'm just gonna play this, and then I'm gonna play this. Yeah, I mean, that's gonna help tremendously. Um, them being stuck on two land is quite bad for them. I, I do feel for them in this case. Um, and we we might still... I mean, hey, there's not a definite win here. I'm just saying that being stuck on two land is a big, big setback. Um, they'll be able to swing in for some damage here, which is fine, but it's going to be one. <laughs> uh, yeah, you got it. Land is good. Enter tapped. Uh, okay, so we can just do this and then this kills something. I kind of want to. Is this silly? It's a little silly, but that's fine. Okay. Two damage to any target. Let's kill one of these guys. Get ourselves a little flyer. Uh, and we'll just swing in with this guy. Not trying to be overly aggressive here, uh, solely because, you know, this this is a problem. Uh, so we do have to be very conscious of that. Um, but very soon we're going to start spitting out with extra fires. We can just start spitting out more and more of these little sharks. Uh, I love this. This is pretty sweet. Um, sure. And I assume they just get an attack in here. Yeah, that's fine. And they can attack with this. I'm very happy to trade if they would like. Um, but I think they're much more on the plan of we have to... <clears throat> they need to bide their time a little bit and see if they can get somewhere with it. Um, Kenrith is very good. What do we have in our graveyard out of curiosity? Okay. Uh, shoot. What do we want? Let's 
just gives us another 4-4. Four, four. That's really funny. Um, uh, I'm actually not going to discard either. Um, okay, so... Can definitely swing with these two. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 18. So they would have to block here. Considering they only have two mana, I'm going all out. Let's end the game as quickly as possible. That's fine. That actually is great for us. Um, cool. All right. I mean, yeah, sure. But we we definitely have it. Yep, cool. Game two, done. Uh, unfortunately, the opponent, they're really on a... Uh, downswing solely because they they had two lands. I think they would have done much much better, obviously, given they had a little bit more. But that's okay. We'll jump into game three and see how we do. Uh, this deck has been amazing. Uh, I will say uh, this this is just a pure upgrade from the original Jeskai Fires list. Cannot be too upset about that. So um, very very happy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll keep this. Uh, and we'll just throw steam vents out there. It's nice to also, with the companions, you can sometimes really, really quickly pick up on what deck you're actually up against. Um, ooh, this deck is brutal. Uh, absolutely do not like this deck. We're going to pass here. Um, hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... That might be incorrect. It might be better to not run something out there. Okay, but... Okay, uh, we won, I guess. Um, because this video is a little bit longer, I'm gonna go ahead and count that. Uh, normally, I would go ahead and play another game, but um, we're already over our 20 minute mark, so... Uh, regardless, this deck has been amazing. Let's go ahead and fill out our mastery really quick. Uh, let's see. We want this. I'm just kind of filling out all of this, by the way, um, is the goal. We'll go ahead and get this as well. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this Jeskai list. Uh, it is very, very good, though. Um, oh, we still have more. Excuse me. Um, if you have not played it, uh, if you didn't play it pre Akoria definitely check it out if you did play it pre akoria this is the easiest upgrade in the world uh it's literally like three cards so uh do check it out very very strong obviously <clears throat> we saw the power level of it in some of these games and again we do have another video up on this deck so you can check that one out as well uh really quick if you are not already entered in the akoria giveaway uh you can enter uh winner will be chosen on saturday uh may 16th i believe uh the day after release uh, we'll be giving away a free bundle. We'll mail it to you uh, no matter what. So uh, please do uh, enter if you're not already. We really would appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for the support lately. It's been pretty astronomical. It's been amazing. So thank you all so much. Really do appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like or a comment down below. And I will see you hopefully very soon in the next gameplay video.